Hi everyone, this is Lisa Romanovich McManus coming to you live today. I hope everyone's having a good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending upon when you are watching this video. I wanted to take the time today to speak to you about the projector personality type of the integral human design system. I'm actually a projector myself, so I have a lot of personal experience <laughs> with living out of this personality strategy and authority and also living with it. So I wanted to go through with you some of the aspects and also the different subtypes of the projector because the projector is the only type that actually has subtypes. Kind of interesting, huh? Wow. <laughs> um, but before we begin, I want you to know that I infuse each of these videos with Reiki. That will help to just support you as you expand your container and as you sit more in contemplation and relaxation. So let's just take a deep breath here, like a nice little pause. Hmm. Awesome. So the projector has incredible strengths, right? It's able to manage and direct and guide others. They're able to be very, very insightful and intuitive. And they have sort of a magnetic, attractive aura, and it shines really with the unique ability to help focus the energy of all the other types to accomplish great things for the other's life's work. The challenge for the projectors is that they are often perceived by others as lazy, right? They burn out at the age of 40, if they're not living their design, I can attest to that. And they are extremely sensitive. Um, and surprisingly, they have a lack of their own self-awareness, even though they are extremely aware of others. So it makes them bitter at times. That's, a, that's one of the mm, challenges, I guess I'd say, about a projector, right? The gift of a projector is to manage and guide all the other types. As the aura of a projector says, okay, ask me a question. I know the answer and I'd love to share it with you. The problem is when they share it before they're asked, right? <laughs> no type is actually more diverse than a projector. Projectors, as I said, are the only type that have subtypes. So I'm just going to dabble slightly into detail of those three types, okay? For the first one, we can identify as the non-energy projectors, okay? They have no motor defined, and they're primarily getting their energy through the interactions with other types, with other energy types, for the personalities in the human design. So to grasp your inner decision-making techniques as a projector, you need to see whether you have a defined spleen or an identity G-center that's defined. And that will help you greatly in making decisions, right? because the splenic authority has a beautiful intuitive knowing, and that's very different from the actual identity G center, which is all driven by more of a will and more of the willpower in that sense and um, more about the identity. So it's very important to keep in mind those different types when you're thinking about the first subtype of the projector. The second are the energy projectors and they have like several defined centers. When I first looked at human design, I was quite surprised because I only have, I think it's two centers that are defined and 
um, I, and looking at other charts, I'm seeing, wow, there are a lot of other defined centers. So for um, an energy projector, they actually have the ability to sustain some constant energy and they can make decisions through their solar plexus or their identity G center or their spleen. And that is a beautifully energetic projector that is a little less susceptible to burnout and conditioning of others. The third type is an absolute no inner authority projector, right? They are often called mental projectors. They're like charged and defined from the neck up, but not the neck. <laughs> um, they have a defined head and they have a defined mind, but they have no inner authority. So their decision-making is literally out of body. They are on an intuitive track for decision-making and they are purely separate from their actual physical being. They really are super intuitive um, and really um, like almost natural uh, computers or encyclopedias of knowledge. Pretty interesting, right? But all these projectors have one thing in common. If they simply wait to be invited, that is their strategy, they will have very little bitterness or desperation. Um, and using the strategy of waiting for an invitation, the manifestors, the generators, the manifesting generators, the reflectors, all of them can beautifully be guided and set free to make the best use of their energy and creative expression. It is really nice to have a projector in your back pocket if you are an other type because it will really support you on getting clear. However, most projectors have been conditioned to be manifesting generators. So I'll say that again. Most projectors have been raised and conditioned to be manifesting generators. So they think they can go, they think they can, they can respond, they can initiate when actually they are not capable of doing so. And that is where the burnout comes in. Their open sacral takes in loads of energy, but it cannot sustain itself. It cannot continually be on the go, go, go. It would literally hurt both their spirit and their physical body. So you will get dis at ease and illness if you are not living according to your design, right? So the projector having no sustainable energy can't really, even, even the energy projectors cannot really sustain a nine to five job, um, especially if it's physical labor, it's really not meant for them. A projector needs to have a beautiful rhythm of work time and rest time, play time and rest time. They, and that's part of the integral rhythm for them and should not be looked at as, gosh, I need to take a break. Honestly, just really embracing that. I've been doing that and I've been much better and finally, finally understanding what self-care is all about, right? So when they can wait to be invited, projectors actually get gigantic opportunities. But in between those opportunities, very little happens. So in their being, they actually work to master or in the process of mastering different things that they study in waiting for invitations, okay? So if you don't think that projectors are just waiting around for something to happen, you can invite them. And inviting does not necessarily have to be a verbal, I invite you invitation. A projector can actually really focus in on your aura and see that you are asking energetically. So it's, it's a little less literal. I received my, um, my report from the Integral Human Design and um, 
I received a, a, a voice message back because my question was all about waiting for the invitation. And the answer was really, don't take that precisely literally. Um, there is a way that you can know, you can sense that an invitation is being given. So, but anyway, the other part <laughs> that always lingers is that without a, a uh, motor to the throat and this open sacral, they struggle to be heard and recognized. So if you talk to a projector, they feel um, misunderstood, not heard, not seen in a lot of ways when they're, when they're not embraced as who they are, but they're requested to mask themselves in a manifesting generator type. So you'll often see a projector talking up a storm or giving a lot, giving of what they can see within you. But if anyone is not listening or has not invited them, they absolutely run the risk of not being heard, number one, of having their ideas stolen. So boundary yourself. And also inadvertently insulting and criticizing people around them because that's what it feels like when you're not invited. It's like, talk to the hand and aren't you like so critical and judgmental and trying to tell me what to do. So the projector who offers an insight without being asked often appears bossy <laughs> and controlling and it's very painful for the projector to have this wisdom to not be recognized or appreciated for the wisdom. So that can leave them really dejected and bitter. And a way to support them is to invite them. Really nice, right? So if projectors live according to their strategy and if they are like asked and recognized, there's an enormous amount of wisdom that they can share. Intuitively, projectors know, they actually know what the other energy types are need to be doing to make the best use of their energy. According to traditional human design, projectors are now thought to be the new leaders. Gone are the times of the authoritarian or the um, ruler by way of down on the pyramid and more of a guide and more of a philosopher, more of a healer, that even though projectors, their last thought and, and interest is to actually be a leader, they will make very good leaders. For them, they have to understand that they are a vital piece of the puzzle. They are not here to do, do, do. They are here to allow allow, allow. And when they're asked, they can share incredible insight that can turn a very directional list or busy or buzzing generator or manifesting generator or a, an unhealthy reflector into a very powerful energy that can do great things. It is really important, really important for a projector not to feel that if they don't have the invitation, they're never gonna get an invitation. Um, that actually lets them project out some negativity. <laughs> and in projecting out the negativity, it actually um, does not provide for invitations. So um, it's really hard for them to know the answer and have to wait, but really be gentle to yourself. I know I've had to be very gentle to myself. Um, in a sense, if you are a patient projector, your aura will do the talking. Projectors living their strategy are so magnetic and so attractive that people like won't stop recognizing them. They just are so attracted to it. So if they hold back and wait for the invitation, their life is a beautiful way to living this, this, these these amazing moments of being able to help and support someone else. Um, it's really important to wait for big invitations. So like weddings or career moves or moving to a different, you know, place, home. Um, 
really tap into waiting for that invitation on those times. And in the in-between times, as I said, just prepare, prepare. So many, um, many of these projectors study, as I said, and master, and they investigate, and they learn so that they're ready to assist when the time arises. And <laughs> I always thought I was like a crazy person that just loved studying different systems because I have integrated so many different types of bodies of knowledge, movement-based knowledge, somatic knowledge, philosophy knowledge, healing knowledge, very, very diverse topics. But that is really what I'm meant to do in the between times when an invitation is not present. So just live with that and notice that when you're not, you can hit a burnout. And for anyone who's a friend or a husband, wife, partner, colleague of a projector, help them to see when enough is enough, okay? Don't say, oh, stop taking this personally. You're so emotional. That's not gonna help them. What will help them is to just say, wow, you know, maybe it's time to just take a, a rest. Let's go for a walk. Let's listen to some music and help them to just rest and recognize because it's easy to take in sacral energy and temporarily like morph into a generator or a manifesting generator. But honestly, that's only a mask and they will crash, totally crash if they, um, consistently act in that manner. And I know I did at around 40, I just was like, um, and really had to reevaluate my life. So know that you have a finite amount of time and energy in each day. Um, working a few hours a day works really well for you, allows you to stay free from feeling exhausted. Yeah. And will help you keep like in fit condition, fit spiritual condition, fit health condition, right? You won't struggle for money, you won't lose important relationships, um, and you won't lose support. So that is really, really important for a projector. Health is to be really wise about others, so they think, but they need to really notice that they have blinders on for their own self-care. So tell them be, to be gentle and honor times of rest. Yay, right? So for a projector, Resting before going to sleep is really important. Those who try to work and then just go to sleep and crash, or you know, they really need that time. Often it's listening to music or listening to a book on tape or reading is a little more aggressive. Um, sometimes TV before you actually go to sleep. Um, as well as they do suggest that projectors sleep alone. Um, they are so conditioned even when sleeping by other types. But I have a little issue with this because our aura is actually like two times our arm length. So you can actually project out of the room that you're in. It almost seems like you have to live in your own house <laughs> um, for optimal time for regeneration. So the key is to just really be able to recognize that you need to wait for an invitation um, help people who are projectors by prompting them, by having them be requested to share because they so want to share. Um, that creates a beautiful dynamic. Oftentimes a generator and a projector work really well together because they respond and they wait for the invitation and they are providing enough sustainable energy for both. Um, and that that is when a projector feels heard, feels seen, feels recognized, and they have a beautiful natural boundary. Boundaries and grounding are very important, making sure you're connected into your heart center and you're not all in your head as it's very easy since we're known to master and study. Um, so the particular strategy will support the way that your talents, your soul expertise coming into the world will be best appreciated by all the other types living your human design. 
So I hope that helps and it gave you a little bit about the projector. Oh, I actually didn't mention the projector is about 20% of the population. So they're a small little group, um, but they will have a beautiful impression upon you and your ethos, your greatest good, if you invite them in. So I hope that you enjoyed this video as well as the prior videos on how to navigate your human design chart as well as the first one which was on generators and manifesting generators the second one which was on pure manifestors and reflectors and this final one on projectors i hope that you enjoy it i hope that it gives you some value and if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact me. I hope that you have a truly beautiful day. Namaste and enjoy. Bye now.